welcome to we repair stuff um, so today i'm reinstalling windows 10 um, onto uh, the, the pc that i'm rebuilding for my mother-in-law um, uh, we've already created the media um, i've got that in a previous video as well um, it's a really straightforward install um, we boot off the usb and i'll take you through the complete uh, windows 10 reinstall process um, so first thing we do plug in the usb turn the pc on um, go into the boot menu of the pc that you are you're doing um, and select the the memory stick that you're you're using from the boot list um, it will then run through um, and it will boot into windows 10 um, and then first thing you need to do is is set your um, language it would default united states but you can change the the time and the, the currency format that's the only thing you can change if you're in the uk um, so that's what we'll do and it'll automatically set the keyboard for you if you hit next and then install now um, so then we have to watch it go through the, a little bit of setup starting process um, and then it will take you into the wizard um, i haven't got my key yet uh, but i know what version i'm using so i'm going to skip it but if you have a key type it in um, then select your version of windows in our case i'm using pro so we'll just next through that Need to make sure you agree to the license agreement again read it if you feel the need but i've read it so many times i'm not going to bother i'll just accept and hit next um, we're going to go for custom install again because this was a pre-loved disk we need to delete the existing partitions are on there don't need to hit new just hit next it'll create it for you and then uh, windows is going to go through a, a fairly long install process now with multiple reboots um, the whole thing, depending on the spec of the PC and whether you're running a, a solid state hard drive, um, can take anything up to sort of half an hour usually. Um, in our case, it was about 10 minutes from start to finish, um, but I, I fast forwarded a lot of the footage for you so you don't have to watch through that whole process. Um, so I will come back to you when we get to that point. So we're now back into Windows and um, we just need to select UK again um, and then again select UK again if that's where you are. If you want to add a keyboard layout at this point um, you can if you're not in the UK um, but we're all, we're all set up for that. I'm skipping the uh, network connection because I'm not plugged into anything at the moment. Um, I'll do that at a later point. Um, and again we need to continue running through now. Um, it, will, it will do some more reboots. Um, it would probably take another good five six minutes to get it back into windows again where we can start um, running through and, and setting some of the things we need to set to, to get up and running so again set your set your name of whoever you want to use the pc i'm just going to call it home um, set a password if you want one if you pop it in if you put a password in, it'll ask you to confirm it again um, you can set cortana i've just left that on and again, on this screen, you can set your location diagnostics. You turn on the turn on and off the ads from Microsoft. I recommend turning them off. Um, you can enable or disable speech recognition, um, and then you can set it to send diagnostic data to Microsoft if you wish. Um, I've just left it all turned on for the minute. Um, 
because this PC is not going to be mine at the end of the day um, and I can again modify it after the fact if I need to. Um, so great we are now in sort of the final steps. Um, again it's got to go through a little bit of a process just to complete setting up the PC. It will, it will take another couple of reboots as well. Um, uh, again another five six minutes and, uh, and we'll be there. Great, so after that final five minutes, we are now into Windows. The only things that's left to be done are the Windows updates and um, licensing this version of Windows. Um, I will put some links below uh, to where we've got our license key from. And uh, I'll also link to the other videos that we've done previous to this one about building media and um, replacing the hard drive. That's great, thank you for watching.